It's not the school holidays here yet. It just looks like it. Welcome back to your uh, next lockdown lesson. Um, this lesson will have a deadline of Wednesday. At um, Pencoitra High in Barry and every other secondary school in Wales, they've had to go virtual again. There are improvements since last time, but it'll never be as good as the real thing. I'm creating video lessons which just by their nature are static to the, the kind of reactions of the kids. Um, they, if they're watching it with a blank face, I don't see that face. And if they're watching it with an enthused, kind of interested face, I can't then kind of build on that. Um, so it makes the, the whole experience disjointed. The recent lockdown in Wales, which was known as the firebreak, aimed to protect the hospitals. But these are worrying times, with some now cancelling routine operations. Initially, they thought the firebreak had been a success. Not anymore. In fact, in South Wales, it's particularly bad. Eight out of the UK's top ten hotspots are here in South Wales. The Welsh Government is calling for restraint. If you can, don't mix with people outside of your household. If we all do that, we can keep our family safe and keep Wales safe. As you can see, our uh, very much empty. Melanie Harris is the owner of Cumcardrev Care Home in Pontadawi. 14 residents out of 48 have died of COVID, all in the second wave. Will I get over it? I don't know. And that's, that's the truth. Um, um, I, I seem to be working on autopilot at the moment. Um, we've got over the three weeks where, like I said, the virus hit this home. It was silent, it entered silently. We didn't know it was in the home. Good morning and welcome to your last week uh, before Christmas. It's not the way this year was meant to end. Whether it's how the next begins remains in the balance. Simon Viger, Five News.